last drop around. So you can do the same thing, and I didn't make this long enough, but we're going to pretend that it is. So we want to make sure that we start at the tip of the, I'm just going to imagine that I did that because it's going to be a little short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down and then I'm going to just kind of free up my tails here, okay? So I'm going to come down whether it's typically rectus femoris, okay? I'm going to lay it down. Now I have my tails. So this is the hardest part, honestly, of doing the patella stuff because when the knee is bent, the patella moves all around. So you really have to kind of, sometimes it's easier to make a circle so you know exactly where your patella is until you get really good at doing this. And still I find sometimes I rip it off and I start over. But what I want to do is I want to know where my patella is so that as I come down, what I'm going to do is a little medial glide. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a push because I know probably there, it needs to go in a little bit. Okay, so I give it a little push like a mechanical block, which is more tension than the lay down of the muscle inhibition, right? So it's like 50 to 70% pushing it over there. Now the medial, I don't have to push it too much, but again, I'm going to kind of hug it around and then just come down, okay? Now, when you met, and then when you come back up, and you keep it straight, when you come back up, you should feel that the patella is in your tape. And sometimes what you'll find is that the tape is like on the patella. And so it's a little deceiving when the leg is bent, so you might have to go back down and, or get a new piece and then start over. Because once you lay kinesio, it doesn't stick well when you take it off and then try to stick it back. You have to get a new strip. And then you just have to remember to come a little more lateral, giving it that push into the medial glide, okay? So the other thing 